of those, one of those people uh, is here right now. He is the highest, he is the most progressive lieutenant governor in our country. And he is the first farmer to hold that office in over 50 years. Please welcome David Zuckerman. Thank you. Thank you, Elise. Thank you, Rachel, my spouse right here. I first want to thank all the incredible organizers that made today possible. Can we give them a big shout out? I also want to have everyone here give a big shout out to some incredible women here in Vermont who are political leaders. Mitzi Johnson is one of only five female speakers of the house in the country and she's the speaker in this building behind us. Give it up for Mitzi. And you know, a lot of those people in New York, the bankers and the big powerful folks and with money and running all the money show are men. Here in Vermont, we have the smartest treasurer in the country, Beth Pierce. Now, we all are a little bit sad to be here today, but I'm excited to be joining with all of the thousands here and the millions across the country and the world to stand up for our common values, to stand up for equal pay, to stand with Planned Parenthood, to stand for accessible and affordable health care for all, and to stand for peace. Are you with me? Peace is critical. We must peacefully rebuild our trust and faith in our democratic institution. We must make sure that our democracy stands strong by making sure that the most vulnerable are not left behind. We must tell Washington that they represent all of us and not just the privileged few. Early in the morning after the election, I held my daughter in her sleep for a long time. I wept for her future. I know many people here felt the same way. I wept for the Supreme Court. I wept for climate change. And I thought about respect for girls and women as more than objects. All of these thoughts were swirling in my head. I thought about all the unsung women before us who have fought for the gains we have made and how the obligation is now on us to continue that fight and to honor their efforts and sacrifices. Are you with me? I want to say there are millions of men across this country standing in solidarity with our sisters in this fight for equal rights and justice. And we will stand with you in the days and the months and the years ahead. The silver lining of this election it is, is that it has woken up the majority. We are the majority, the same majority that had three million more votes. And as your Lieutenant Governor, I could not be more proud to stand with you. Political leaders should never be heard saying women are objects to be grabbed in their wherever. No nor should it ever be a thought that crosses our leaders' minds, whether in a locker room, on a bus, or, or toilet. anywhere. Or toilet. We still have a long way to go. But to slightly change the words of someone we all honor, Dr. Martin Luther King, women should not be judged by the size of their cup, but by the content of their character. We are sad, we are frightened, we are angry, but we must turn this energy, as we are today, into action to change the course of this country. We can turn this new era into a great wake-up call that we all need to be more involved and take back our democracy from powerful money interests. We need to stay active, to support our public schools, to protect our environment, to protect reproductive health and freedom, to create universal health care, and to achieve fundamental equality for all people. Here in Vermont, 
we can set an example for what democracy can be. Everyday citizens need to become more active in contacting your representatives and the governor on these important issues. I am committed to working across this state to help people find your voice in our democracy. Join me in being active in creating the Vermont we want to have for today and for tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming today.